What's going on, guys? Welcome back to another Legacy Cube Draft. Unfortunately, we've been having a pretty bad run, so we're going to try to fix that right now. We're only going to draft the good cards. I'm not going to let my, my greed in Legacy Cube get the best of me. Wow. Wow what? I'm just real loud. I know. It's his life, man. It's his life. All right, what do we got here? What do we got here? What is the best non-least greedy pick in this pack? Steam Vents. <laughs> What's going on, guys? The Bibbledy Bobbledy Net Deck AOL America Ski Bop De Bop Bop. <laughs> yeah, that's probably better than anything I could have said. Oh, Swords of Plowshares. I think That's it's good one. I think Steam Vents and Swords of Plowshares are probably the best here. I could see an argument for Swords. We could be blue-white control. I like that. I just really want to be blue because all the best cards are blue. Let's be honest. Everybody knows that. What's Groot? Is this Groot? I don't think we're first picking a seven mana two color planeswalker. That would be greedy. I take the swords. I also like the black white deck. Alright, there's no great blue cards in here except for Ponder. We could take Ponder. Hmm. He also takes Settler Wreckage. Hmm. Or Thalia. I'm trying to win. I don't think staying one color really gets us there. So I'm actually going to. Uh, Blue Red Elf is pretty good. Is it, though? Oh, Woodfall Primus? That guy's real good, though. Settler Wreckage is solid. I think this is an argument. This is an argument. This is an argument. Primus sucks. The funny thing is, I know you're not talking about Woodfall Primus. Ten, you take that back, bits. Best card is blue. Do we just take Ponder? I also like Scrubland a lot. The black white decks are cool. I'm gonna take Scrubland. Oh, Animate Dead. Oblivion Ring. Tell your tell your dad what you'd like to pick, Michael. I think I like O Ring a little better than Animate Dead. Eh, maybe. Yeah, probably. Which one did you say? Oblivion Ring? Yeah, I think so. We don't... Yeah, I don't know if we're going to have efficient ways to get... The, actually, do we just take the... Oh, God. I feel like this is a repeatable effect, whereas this is like... I don't know. I guess to be that's, broken. I really want to... Yeah, we're going to take this. Batter Skull seems good. Oh! Oh, we did it! We did it, boys! <laughs> I think it's just in Tomb, right? <laughs> Assuming we get other creatures, yes. I like this Tundra, too. We could be Esper. Isolated Chappy? Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Ho, ho. Hoo, hoo. I'm going to take Isolated uh -huh. Chappy. You okay with that? Hoo, hoo. Okay. Well, you're going to keep... We could do it. We could do it again. Um, this. I don't know if this deck is a Ravager's deck. I think it's Metamorph. Yeah, why is coffee so Ooh, good? Oh, Magister's great. Yeah, that's a good one. All right, we're doing it. We're doing a cool black-white deck here, boys. Why is coffee so good? Is that what you said? Yeah. I don't know. Actually, I'm not a big coffee fan, so I couldn't tell you. It's just got this, you know, a little bit of bitter, a little bit of sweet thing going on. It doesn't have any sweet naturally. No, not naturally. That's true. You got your banana coffee? No, this is not a banana coffee, unfortunately. Go for the throat of Nighthawk. Also, like Bayou be that Abzan deck. I think we stick to two colors, though. Yeah. What do you think? 
We don't also have to be white. We have no reason not to be, though. We have two fixing lands and a swords and a magister, right? Jess. Jess. Jasper. I'm going to take go for the throat. Geron. Oh, spectral. Mm. Is Warhammer any good? Trample on lifelink? You got some loyal fans since LR pre pre release skills of Ravnica. You got some. Yo, yeah, that's actually. Oh, that's interesting. Huh, I didn't know the LLR thing was right now, today, on Wednesday. That's kind of weird. We could just take this guy, man. Entomb it, animate, dead it. Is that your Garrick impression? Yeah. That's pretty good. What's the pick, man? I don't know. Oh, we took a Garrick. How do you spell susceptible? That's a hard word to spell. There we go. <laughs> One of each. Got it. Ophiomancer or Settler Wreckage here? Hmm. I think Ophiomancer. I like Settle. Really? Mm -hmm. Alright, I'll take the Settle because I actually haven't played it a ton in this cube, so. Everybody's going to spell susceptible now. It's just a hard word to. Because, yeah, it's like a. It's not a super easy word to. Oh, what up, Swole Mike? I don't even know who Swole Mike is anymore. Wow, look at this pack, dude. It's definitely Brightling. This card's so? Yeah, this card's great. Are you serious? But Angel of Serenity with Reanimate. No. Uh no. No. Oh no. There you go. That's what we want to do. Ooh, Flicker Wisp? That seems good. Yep, yeah, you can go on the sideboard, little doggy. You don't want to play the little doggy? Ooh, that's a good one, too. Man, these are some nice, nice late picks here. Doggy? Doggy? Hey, everyone. Should I get out of bed and take a shower? One thirty Pacific time. Oh, a modern winter box. You might just go. Good luck. Congratulations. A Lesh Norn, right? Um, Yes. I like that you only invite me to standard things and not just your regular everyday hangout things, Rob. That's good. That's good times. Also, let me know if you ever want to hang out again. I don't know if we're still friends, so you'll have to let me know. Dang. Yeah, it's rough. I even have days off so we could all hang out. It would be great. Yeah, I don't know if that's possible, though, because he's, he's too busy getting swole, apparently. <laughs> I do have a weed in my car, actually. Oh, God. I feel like I'm very popular with the uh, the the stoner the stoner population. I think the stoner population is just everywhere and you can't avoid it. Huh. Hmm. Time out. I never do anything other than like twice a month magic. Well, I don't know about that, because you never invite me, so. One single tear. Do we just take this Desecration Demon? Yeah. Smoke Doke says you just gotta, you just have a chill streaming approach. That's all I asked for. I just want to be chill. Did you say yes to Desecration Demon? Yeah. Okay. It's either that or the boat, but I don't know. I don't like boats.
I really don't like this Gideon. Me neither. I think he's poop. Blue Delta gets a Scrubland. Oh, Necro. I think it's just Necromancy, actually. We want yeah. another. Also, your voice is calming, and even when you get surprised or excited, it doesn't get to the point that it's grating or too much if you're high. That's awesome. Man, I got that that uh, that nice... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for here? I got that nice... Uh, Yeah, that's just like your, that's just like your opinion, man. Anguished, Ugin, Elspeth, Sublimal, Kitchen Finks, Sublimal, Sinrender, Sublimal. Is that what you yeah, said? I did say Sublimal. <laughs> Why would you say Sublimal? Ugin's so good, right? It is. It's just eight mana though. Yeah, that's true. Anguish and making's pretty good. Muy bueno. Tone? I don't know what tone means. What are you saying right now? No, no, no. Um. I can't think of the word. What did you say? What did you say? Anguish on the making. You think it's anguish on making? It's a good removal. Over Elspeth or Ugin? Maybe not. Like, we already have swords. Go for the throat. Settle the wreckage. We already have Magister kills the board. I think it's one of the Planeswalkers. That's probably better, right? I think Elspeth is better. Also, you guys have good jokes. Unseen Spectre. Ten wheel that assemble bits. Oh, Archangel. Oh, see, look, this is why we just don't take the, the anguish on making because they just give us the vindicate. Hmm. I see. Hundred percent taking vindicate. Not even close. Also, I'd rather just have a four mana planeswalker than an eight mana planeswalker. So if I could reanimate uh, Ugin somehow, I would definitely take an Ugin. But do you know that Ugin can shoot three to the face? I heard you can win with that. Not salty. Is that true? My God, I love that you remembered that. A lot of my drafts blend together, so I'm like... Oh, there is Belschnickel. And we got a path. And a hero, Bladehold. I need a hero. Although we're not really aggressive. Aggressive. We are not really aggressive. So I think people overrate path because it's one of the best removal spells ever, and I think it is. However, the problem is that like there are a lot of similar removal spells in this cube that do almost the exact same thing. Um, and I think people overrate path because of that, because of its pedigree in other formats. And I'm going to take Bells and Lock. Belschnickel. I'm going to take Belschnickel. My local gaming store announced the Winnebox Modern Format tonight. I'm thinking about going. Would you like to join me? We can converse. Wow, that's such an awesome offer. I would really, pre I really appreciate that offer. What time are you going? It's just Massey. Old sassy it's Massey. Always, it's always Massacre Worm. The card is broken. It is broken. And we have Necromancy and Anime Dead, so... But not even just the one mana white ones. Not even just like condemned swords. Like even go for the throat. Ultimate price. Like Doomblade. If Doomblade's in here, like there's a bunch of different removal spells that have like very very low restrictions that are almost the identical to what what Path Exile does. Man, oh, win a box, eh? That's pretty cool. Yeah, maybe you can go if you weren't being such a little Mitch about life. Play some modern. Sorry, Mama I can't come. I could easily cancel. Can you really? Yeah, I'll just say we'll do it another day. It's a nice looking deck I mean, for packed. Rude. It's just blades. I don't want the. Do we want the approach? Do we like approach? Have we tried approach? No, we have not. Isareth could be good, but like we don't have all the cheap creatures, so we're just gonna be like, oh, I'll pay seventeen mana. I don't know what to take here. I think it's just blade splicer. I will have flicker wisp. True. Oh, Concealed Courtyard. That's good. It's better than the Dread Return? Yeah, I think so. But better than Mindbender? I think so. Better than Dread Mindbender? Dreadender Bender? Oh, this came back. That's fascinating. No one respects that card. I think it might just be Boat here. It hits Planeswalkers for three. It's pretty big. 
I mean, I'm not going to take a symbol. We don't have any red mana. We're not going to realistically play All a symbol. All she wrote about the boat. Cloud Goat or Gideon of the Trials? Cloud Goat. I actually don't like this Gideon. I actively dislike this Gideon. It just doesn't do anything. It's probably Deccan Stone. Actually, Sublime Archangel is pretty OP. I think Smuggler's Copter? Definitely Copter. Oh, it actually lets us loot, so that's actually real good. This is a deck I want to be looting in. Alright, this is our 23. Eh. Hmm. That's it's actually real good. good. I was yeah. hoping that would come back. Alright. Well, oh, I like Ob. Isn't that obvious? Uh, no. Seville Pippin, thank you so much for the resub. Welcome back. What up, Crutch Jr.? How's it going, Frank and Mike? Guys interested in some veggie and rice soup? By the way, ASMR stip would be fun. <laughs> that would be hilarious. I am interested in some veggie and rice soup. That sounds delicious. Michael, if you'd like to join, we can play some Commander before it starts. The price support is guaranteed at eight people and goes up up four packs per person for each person over eight. Hmm. Did he share it with me? Because I really I don't know. Like I don't I still don't know what the when the event starts. Share the share it, man. Get on that shared chair. Get on the shared chair, Michael. <laughs> <laughs> whatever that means. Oh, whatever that memes is more like it. I want to take this pack rat. Not only does it win games on its own, it lets us discard for necro necromancy. Oh, Council's Judgment? Oh. Our deck is looking gas right now. We have 26 cards. We'll just play them all. I don't think Flicker Wisp makes the cut. I'm not even super high on Blade Splicer, to be honest with you. Oh, Erebos can go. I was super high once. Yeah, everybody knows that. <laughs> Thunder Titan? Just be that guy. Oh, God. At worst, mean, it kills two of our lands. Did you say at worst? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty bad, though. Oh, God. It's good reanimation, though. Big O Blitz. Just Mind Stone? I don't know. Disfigure? This pack sucks. I would just take the Forsake the Ward Bleed. Really? Yeah, just so we have one. Yeah, I agree. That's fine. I mean, we do have Council's Judgment, but I think we only have Council's Judgment as far as... Burial Alive. Ooh, that could be interesting. That's a good one. What do we have? Narcomancy and Animate Dead? Those are the only two we have for reanimation. Mm -hmm. Interesting. This could still be good, though. And if we can hit one more, like, Reanimate or uh, Exhume or something, it's pretty good. I think we play it. Well, we'll see, though. I mean, like, it depends. I, I don't know. Putting three of our best threats in the graveyard without oh, any way to get... Oh, we Guide. Nah, that's pretty good. All right. It's not bad. I like Liliana here. Or Volrath Stronghold. We can just bury it alive and put one on top. I don't know. I yeah, think Liliana's probably better. Thing. I, I took Liliana. I don't know if you noticed okay. that. Hmm. There's a lot of white cards in this pack. I like that you guys are saying Scarab God when we have literally no blue no blue mana and no blue cards. I don't know what to pick here. So, I guess I'll just take a Sphere Banalia. I don't know. Thalia's pretty good. Mm. 
metamorphosis blue. Touche. Touche. We would have to put decks together. I would have to put some decks together. You're right. Whatever. It's just that, yeah. I guess it could have been uh, Day of Judgment too. Uh, I've played Arena Le Rector a bunch of times, and like they just don't kill it. They just let it go. Yeah, it's only a one-two. Like they can just totally ignore it for the rest of the game. I'm gonna take Lightning Greaves. Selfless Spirit seems fine. All right, let's put the Buried Alive in and see what that looks like. Need two cuts here. Whatever. I bet we could just play mono white too. I bet our mono white deck looks pretty awesome. I'm actually curious. I think it might be a little too fair though. Robert like shared this like some screenshots, but it literally gave me no information about it. I don't know where this place is or what time is it. He literally just sent me a screenshot that's like, "Who would be interested in the modern event?" It's literally a screenshot of the guy asking if anyone's interested in playing in the event. No, share another pick. It says seven. Does it say it's seven? That's pretty close. I still don't know where it is though. Why Did couldn't you, you just say that? Why are you screenshotting? Just say seven p.m. Did you check up your butt? <laughs> What? Did you check up your butt? Uh, for what? For where the event is. Oh, Volash Jungle came back. That might be playable. I didn't actually check out my butt, so. Okay. It's 4.45. It's 5 o'clock. So I have, uh, we have two and a half, two hours and 15 minutes to, f no, wait. Yeah, two, two hours and 15 minutes to finish this draft, put two decks together, and drive somewhere that's likely a half an hour away. Yeah, that's probably. Yeah, it's on waters. Like, that's actually way deep in Tampa. So, yeah, 30 minutes. 30 minutes away. So, we would have to leave at 6.20, probably. And it is... So, we have an hour and 35 minutes to Not finish this dog. draft and to put two decks together. And then eat at some point as well, because I assume we wouldn't be eating beforehand. So... <sighs> What do you think? What do you think our cuts are, bro? Probably cut Hippie. You can cut Sublime Archangel. Oh yeah, that makes sense. You don't like Hypnotic Spectre? I mean, I do, but we gotta make we gotta make cuts. Mm -hmm. Oh, do we need Lightning Greaves? I don't think we need Lightning Greaves. We don't. Is it in your board? No, it's not in your board. There we go. Boom. Deck. Done. Easy peasy weezy. Speezy. Easy peasy weezy. Wait, smuggler Shops are good here with only 11 creatures? I don't know. That's my biggest problem is like... Smuggler's Copter is a cool card, but you already have to have a bunch of creatures to crew it. Yeah, you need like a low curve. We do not, so I think we cut that. I did not. Do we cut that for Blade Splicer? I don't like Blade Splicer in this deck. Angel? What about this guy? This guy's sure. better with the Buried Alive. Yeah. Yeah, let's do that. I'll put the lands in too. That's a good idea. You're Thank smart. you. Do we do, we do this? Being able to put like a metamor- Yeah, actually that's fine. We can have one color instead of this deck. That bad. We'll just do 6-6. Six, six, which is actually 9-9. Nine, nine. Look, 9-9. Nine, nine. Just like the last deck, one mana over eight. And this is a two color deck. Oh, we get one more land. That's great. That's great! Sort by color. Eh, it's probably gonna be a black. 
You okay over there? No, man. Play that one island. Did it? Oh, God. Let's make sure there's no islands in the deck. No, I don't think there is. Okay. Thank God. I mean, to be fair, we only have 17 lands in this deck, so it's probably it's probably going to be one land hands. But to be fair, that's also unbelievable. That's also very, very believable, so... Robert's like, I can get him to start at 7.30. <laughs> I'm like, that's still cutting it pretty close. I mean, it all depends on when this finishes, too. Right, I'm going to keep this. If we draw Entomb or Buried Alive, it's pretty sweet. Oh, it's a two-land hand, though, so it's perfect. We can just discard a card. If we were on the draw, it'd be better. Because then we can just be like, nah, no play. No, nah, no play. No play. Indeed, I did. All right. All right. We good. We good. Okay. I see. I see what Birdie. you're doing there. I mean, I would actually love to roll on out to... Do I just swords this? That's interesting. Maybe. It's dead. But he gained... He gained one. He gained none. He gained none. They wow. gained no life. He did say big fans, so we're probably going to get crushed. Yeah. And we, we're not going to hit a third land, so that's also pretty problematic. They're going to go Rafellos, and we're going to go Phyrexus Metamorphia Rafellos. And the reason that's not going to work is because they have a blue. They have a blue and a green, not two green. And we also don't have a third land, so. So I don't know if there's any value in me playing modern, like... I don't know the format very well. Yeah, you don't have... Yeah, like, that's... I would just go, though, just to hang out. Here's a land. Just kidding. We're gonna play this game of magic again. I guess if we don't hit lands for two more turns, we get to just Demon Lord Bells and Lock, which is nice. <sighs> Always a pleasure, Magic the Gathering. Oh, green sun for two. Sylvan. Land so I can copy that. I really don't feel like I ask for a ton. Like, if I could just play my cards, I, I, think, that's, I think that's a reasonable request. What are you going to get? Here we go. They need two more red sources. Well, one more red source, I guess. This is real life. I can't tell if this is real life or not. This feels like a joke. Like... Having a good time. But are you having a good time? And they're just going to tap our black source? No, they're not. All right, cool. Actually, with only one planes, we only lose one land here. If we, uh... Enumenate? Yeah, if we enumenate. It's still not a land. 10-4, still not a land, buddy. Four spike. Choose your lands. Well, one down. One land down. It's good to have lands. Alright, so they have a cultivate in hand and a seven seven librario. It was turn five and they only had three lands, so I think they're also equally screwed on lands, which is pretty comical. So we know this guy's in your hand, a cultivate's in your hand, and you got a live around top.
Wow, that was a bold strategy. No lands for anyone. Well, I get to keep mine, though. <laughs> so, you know, that's good. Hey, we hit another one. Good for us. I guess we're just dropping this guy back in the pot. Search. Actually, if we start hitting lands... Well, except for you, that is, but I'm a generous fellow, you see. <laughs> oh, I would I would actually respond here, but I have your cards in my thing, so I don't want to, like... Land? <gasps> Do we just court uh, council's judgment the stupid Sylvan carry added? They're already a land off here. We could also get rid of this. Hmm. How do we win the game, though? I mean, we have a great hand. Like, the problem is the next. If the next card's a land, this guy just starts getting them further. But we know the next card isn't a land if we do get rid of the courser because they just. Yeah, we know they're drawing search, so we're actually getting a free turn here because they're not going to have another land to cast the search. So now we know they have library, cultivate, search, and a pestermite in hand. Yeah, Courser sets them back two turns, whereas like if we kill the carry added, they can still hit a land on top and play it off of Courser. Oh boy. We're doing we're doing very well here. Lehman time. It's my demon time. All right, now we don't know what they're hitting, so they're probably going to hit a land here. No land? Oh, biscuits. Oh, biscuits and gravy. I'm going to be real surprised if the Sundering Titan ended up uh, obscurely winning us the game. This is pretty painful. It's Yeah, it's not ideal. Okay, we hit a fifth land, so we're doing we're doing well for ourselves, needless to say. I feel like we just metamorph this almost. But next turn we can play this and this if we hit another land, so it might just be Elspeth here. Elspeth, jump it. I wanna I wanna close out the game as quick as possible though. So maybe we just copy this. Elspeth attack for nine closes out the game pretty fast. It's still three turns though. But, like, if we have two of these guys, we attack for six, then twelve, that... Eh, maybe you're right. I don't know. Three turns either way. I can get behind you. They could also just sacrifice this guy, though, is a problem. Yeah. <sighs> gotta risk it for the biscuit, though. Do you, though? Sometimes you just gotta leave those biscuits alone, man. What if they're Cheddar Bay biscuits? What if they're Cheddar Baby biscuits? Made from real babies. Sounds horrifying. This is all this is all looking quite good for us. They still haven't hit lands? My god. I I mean we thought we had lands bad. How are they not even like Do we just bell schnickel here? The answer is yes. 
That should seal the deal, right? This is 10 damage. We drew a pack rat. Packums, McRadams. If I found a red lobster, cheddar biscuits are made of human infants, I still eat them. Wow. Not even. Dang. This is ridiculous. Man, Sundering Titan, dude. <laughs> Kills three of their lands. I guess that's pretty good. What did we see there? What do we see? What do we see? What do we see? What do we see? A birdie. Settle could be good with their if they're gonna if they're gonna try to kiki jiki pester mite us. Oh, that's true. But think of how many lands you'll give them. <laughs> probably all of them. They could probably get all their lands out at that point. Same thing with Forsake, I think. But they also have silver. They also have a Center Courser, Courser Prefix, and um, Sylvan Library that we saw, and Search for Conta. So I'm pretty sure Forsake is MVP here. Maybe take out this guy. I'll take out Subtle. I don't. I don't want to. I don't want to give them thirty lands. Like, I mean, I, we we'd survive, but we also have a ton of other removals. So, like, we have Go for the Throat. We have Swords. We brought in Forsake if they have Splinter Twin. I will keep this hand yet again. I was real tempted to discard this. Hmm. 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 There's something suspicious about your play. It's a bold strategy, Cotton. Let's see if it pays off for him. a red green deck and it'd be about an Elspeth or an Elsh Elshnorn Elshmeth <laughs> I was an Elshmeth once I mean they could have uh, Cyclonic Rift again which is obnoxious but not totally impossible to beat oh there it is there it is And us with a simple forsake the worldly. Also, Elshnorn kind of cuts that combo off because they're not if they use zealous con. No, the zealous persecution, zealous pers, zealous conscripts. Oh my god, um, zealous persecutionator. He's having a stroke. Someone call. Yep. Okay, they just have into the roll and cyclonic rift that they're just gonna keep bouncing my guys all, all the day, all the live long day. All oh, also, you know what else shuts day. off the combo? Oh. <laughs> Seems good. I'm actually going to forsake this guy now. So literally our hand is pretty stacked against the... Uh, Swords also. Does it. Right. Hence why it is stacked. Oh, that guy's good though. Can I get a 6-6? Six, six? Yes, I can. Yes, we can. That's a Bob the Builder. You remember Bob the Builder? Bob the Builder? Bob the Builder. Come at me, bro. You guys talking about me? <laughs> what? What? What did I say? What? Are you having a stroke? Uh... Oh, stack. That's actually pretty funny. I didn't even think about that. They'll just get in there. I think we do, right? Get them. Get them above I ain't afraid of no ghost. This isn't even a ghost. I don't know why. I think he was a ghost. Are you going to the thing with your parents or not? Do you want to go? Do I want to go hang out with parents? 
<laughs> Mike's like, what is he, your stepbrother or regular brother? Like step? Oh, he's, no, that's next week. Oh, this is no. just a regular thing. Yeah, this is just a regular like hangout. I mean, I haven't seen my mom in a couple weeks, so I bet you saw her last week. <laughs> Got him. You showed it. I just don't think we can really make the tournament in time. Jay Sizzle, how many uh, how many months to qualify as a big fan? Two. Thank you so much for the reset, buddy. Really appreciate it. Uh, oh, I definitely don't think we can make the modern event, but um, you know, if you want to go get some real food, <laughs> Mike's always on me. <laughs> wow, <laughs> got him. Can we get a bright colored shirt one day? Uh, search and gain seven. I wear bright colored shirts sometimes. No, you don't. Sure, I do. No, you don't. I wear sometimes ones that make me invisible. Sometimes ones. You make fun of me? Never. Oh, they got the pestermite. How dare you? I can't believe it. Can you? You can believe oh it. Oh my god. Are you okay? Are you. Wow. Sh Your mom's fine, Mike. She says hello. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> got him! Yeah, we could vindicate the copper line gorge. Why do I care about that, though? I guess we don't. Like, they have to deal with Thalia, and they have to deal with Swords and Plowshares. And we know two of the cards in their hand are Splinter Twin and Pestermite. So, <clears throat> I kind of want to keep this guy back, just so we can play Liliana and keep her alive. Who cares about that, man? Just get him. Get him. Ratch him up. Ratch him up? Ratch him up. Hmm. Ratch him up. Yeah, look at the chain it. Hmm. What is that? That's a weird show. I heard that show's actually really good. It looked like a show that'd be really good. Like you could tell from that, like I don't know, there's a certain way like shows are written and you're like, oh, this is one of those good writing shows. Do I just play this? I don't actually think we do anything here. I mean, we could take this out. I guess that's actually fine. Because we have no reason to... Uh, we have no reason not to. You know what I mean? Like, our clock is really strong right now. And... They played another island, so they still don't have Splinter Twin Man out. Remember that time Chad didn't believe Mike was like six foot three? Yeah. It's really closer to six six. So six six? Yeah. That's two thirds the mark of the beast. <laughs> Alright. They're they're careful they're considering carefully. Mike and Sundering Titan are basically the same person. <laughs> oh, Imperial Recruiter and Island in the trash can. That's pretty good. Mike is actually sitting on the floor right now. That's how you can tell how tall he is. He's sitting Indian style. Hunter, why you got so much loose skin, buddy? He's got he's got the floop. He's got that skin floop. You know the skin floop. Mike is actually several buildings stuck together with peanut butter. <laughs> oh dear God. Oh, butter my biscuits. So they can't play Pestermite EOT here, which is nice. Oh, we have to play Double White to do that, though. We're not doing that. I guess I'll just play you. Because what else can I do? Put it at the top two. No, we'll just give. Uh, we can possibly get some value out of you by doing this. And value... Yeah, we'll just take old hee haw. Guess we could have left it in there for Karma Guide, but I don't know. I don't think it matters. They don't have double red and they only have a Pestermite in hand. 
Well, it's not one off lethal though, just because they can actually sack this and tap this guy down for the turn, so. You okay? Mm hmm. Sometimes Mike just starts talking, I have to make sure he's not asleep. <sighs> exactly. Search for Azkanta. Are you an as to the party? Are you an as Kenta or an as Kanta? An as Kenta or an as Kanta? Are those the opposite of each other? I don't like you. I don't like you. <laughs> that's, that's terrible. Was it though? Yes. Hmm. Oh, you didn't even come at me, bro. Concealed is the courtyard. Get him. Put him to one. Oh, no, put him to one. Play Pester Mite. Tap your boy down. This is actually great because now we can just slowly onto this stupid thing. And then I'm much less worried about Splinter Twin. Pop him. Pop him and lock him. I mean, if they draw red and they have Deceiver X Ark in hand, I guess we lose. No, they come in to play tapped. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> We're still fine. Splinter Twins 4, Deceiver is 6, but they can, uh, yeah, so they can make a 1 mana discount. They flip this, so it costs, okay, that guy's good. So now you can bounce Thalia? I don't think that does anything. Oh, bounce the old Demi boy. Desecration demonetized. Eh? Eh? We have a good time. No. That's a little YouTube humor. I'm just going to get two, two mountains. Straight up two mountains. I believe they call that humor. Wow. One mountain. No, they don't. Maybe, though. Nope. But maybe. No. Are you sure? No. Okay, you're not sure. Got it. Are you sure? Never. Yikes. Is this any graveyard? Mm hmm. Hmm. Does that do anything we care about? Pestermite? Impure Recruiter? The answer is no. The answer is no. Is it? Is it? I have no idea what you just said. Just making a high note, man. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. I did the wrong one. That's sad. Now we get to... Oh, God. That was so bad. It's literally not what I wanted to do. Liter literally not what I wanted to do. Literally. I think this game is still fine. Yeah, we also could have just massacre him there. <laughs> I don't know. I'm like, oh, we don't get to kill this guy. So I'm like trying to... I will block. No. Brainstorm. Nissa World Walker. You know, the old walker. Texas Ranger. Walker, Texas Ranger. That was a uh, a Chuck Nori. Hey, man, what you know about Chuck Nori? They have two cards in hand. One of them is a Splinter Twin. 
Chuck Norrie? What about him? I knew him well. You did? Is he no longer with us? You didn't hear, man? No. I have no idea who Chuck Norrie is. <laughs> you know who Chuck Norrie is. Definitely don't. Don't You don't know who Chuck Norrie is? No, man. Why don't you explain it to me? He's the guy from the show with the hair. He has that hair. Oh, yeah. No, that makes sense. No, I get it. Do you? Do you swords that? No, he, they're dead. But they get to draw two cards. <laughs> okay, well, I, I wish them luck. What if they have beasts with them? They don't. They didn't. Okay. They're dead. They have no cards in hand. Mm. But they're about to Despacito. Have with one green, you never know what they could have. Why don't you come to your senses? You've been out riding fancy. That's a different song. That's Desperado. Uh, Massacre or Leshnorn? Does it matter? It might. It might. They could have days, so. Days would be pretty epic if they had it. You know what else would be pretty epic? Chicken nuggets. Oh my god, I keep hitting the wrong ability! Oh no. This is ridiculous! That's the second time I did that! Oh. Well, shoot. Oh, attack your face. They're not dead, so I'm actually going to kill the stupid Jace. Oh my god, dude. I keep thinking it's the, it's the one I want, so I'm like, it's got to be the first one, right? Three, four, five. We can't actually kill this this turn without swordsing it, and that's not... Oh my god. Oh my god. Yes, let's kill them. Oh my god. How many puns can I make in one second? Oh Jesus. I almost killed the Planeswalker. I'm like, wait, they're at seven. I can only deal five. I might as well kill the Jace. I thought the Jace was white. <laughs> Why did you think that? I don't know. Oh my god. Woo! <laughs> Oh my god, sometimes. You're almost on a, punt, a punting spew. Yeah, I think I think I was just... I think one punt begot another punt. Like, one punt begot another, and they just kept on... They might call you the one punt man. Why would they call me that? Because, like, they, it's more like 15 punts. Yeah, the thing about top-hitting the Pro Tour was that I wasn't actually talking to about 200 people at the same time and also trying to be entertaining. I'll tell you what, if I can keep quiet and not focus on chat and just stream, I will play a lot better, I guarantee it. I'll, I guarantee it. You're going to like the way you look? I guarantee it. Do I keep this hand? It's kind of mediocre. I mean, it's good if we hit lands, right? Yeah. Do I hit the mulligan button or not? I'd keep it. What say you, Chad? Guys, what are we doing here? Men's Warehouse memes in 2018. <laughs> Maybe uh, still around. Good times, good times. Guys. Guys, what happens here? In Tomb or Buried Alive here is very, very good. What do we got here? Don't want you. Go away from me. Oh, no disrespect, and no, no, no disrespect taken there. You are 100% right. Eldrazi was definitely better in that field. Uh... Desperado. Uh, 
Won't you come? I think our first hand would have been better if we hit lands, but I mean, this Sundering Titan really just wants to hang out every friggin' game. Every game. Just wait three turns and then you can discard it. Don't tell me what to do. You're not my s discard daddy. Discard daddy. That's good. Thanks. You're welcome. Glad we got that sorted out. Wasteland, sure. A bold strategy, Cotton. It's a bold strategy, Cotton. Let's see if it pays off for him. Get wasted. We did get wasted. If they play anything, we can kill it. If it bleeds, we can kill it. If it bleeds, we can kill it is a pretty uh, apt saying, considering it's a vampire on this card. Wow. Fashion late to the party. One turn too late. Not like it matters. Like, we didn't have anything to do with that man anyway, but... Oh my god, is it two Splinters from decks in a row? Let's find out. No respect. We sure end up having the cards in our hand a lot with no Buried Alive and no Entomb, which I don't think we've drawn yet. I think we might have drawn in the very, very late portion of game one, but that's pretty much it. A cotton strategy is always my best. That's a that's a good point there. Hmm, it's a good one. How about a vindicate? Can we get a vindicate? Hey. Lucky, 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 I don't know how this always happens, but here we are. Anyone got any called it bucks? Well, you know. You need another one if you do. So. One buck begets another. One buck begets another. Where is my universe as a simulation bucks? Look at that cutie. Have some called it bits instead. I accept. Swish, thank you so much. Really appreciate it. Hey, called it bits. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hypnotic Spectar. I mean, if they have Pact of Negation, Kiki Jiki, and one of the combo pieces, then... Sure. What did you call it? What did I call it? What did I call it? No blocks. I don't have any creatures. I can't block. I don't have any creatures. <laughs> Tee -hee. No. Tee -hee. No. Mother okay. Of, mother of God.
That's pretty cool, but we die if we do it. <laughs> so died worth. I'm gonna end. I'm gonna err on the side of not worth. Is that from Brooklyn Nine-Nine? Because that is one of the shows that I really want to watch more of because it's very, very good. Oh, I see. What a little jerk. Look what you did, you little jerk. Alright, Hunter's also having a, uh, a moment. So grumbly, dude. Rift Bolt entered the revealed zone, so you just have Kiki Jiki in one other card. That's fascinating to me. I mean, we kind of have to do something now, or else we's dead. That's fair. I mean, if they have Pestermite or Splinter Twin or Deceiver X Arc as one of their other cards, then we're dead. But we're also dead if we don't do anything. This is true. The only thing we can do here is Massacre Worm, I think. If we play Karma Guide, we still don't have enough for Go for the Throat, so Massacre Worm is better. Anime Dead only hits Hypnotic Spectre here, which doesn't do anything. We just They just shoot it and we take... Or they, should, they put us to five, and if we block here, we still die. Can't cast this, and Go for the Throat is not really worth it, so... And we can't cast Karma Guide, so there's that. That is also another valid point. It's literally Worm or Die. Worm or die. Worm or die is a tattoo I have on my back. Woad. Woad? Yeah. This is where they, they preemptively say good game in the chat. You ready for it? You're dead. Twang. <laughs> such, such twang. They gotta have it, right? Like, oh no, they don't. Well, what's from their upkeeps? <laughs> They're, they're not, they don't have to play an end step. They just play They play it on their turn. Oh, sure. Maybe they don't have it, though. It's possible. They did draw three cards this turn, though, so... I think the odds of them not having it is low. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. What? Oh, they just steal our dude and kill us, right? Okay, gotcha. <laughs> like, this is a 6-5, like, man. the combo yet. Yeah, this is a combo. <laughs> just connected directly to the leg bone. Connect directly to the leg bone. Apply directly to the leg bone. Head on. Alright, well now we know they have it, so I'm gonna bring Settle in. Maybe cut Magister. So what's the plan, man? What do you mean? What's your plan tonight? What's your, what are you doing? Well, I mean, if we're not going to magic, we're probably then, gonna go and get some food. Okay, then I'll just have to go find food on my own. But then we can reconvene you later and play Spider-Man or something. Or something. We'll reconvene at a later time. Hobo. Hobo? Hobo. Hobo. Hodor? Hodor. Hobo. I don't know what you're doing right now. I literally have no idea what you're doing. I I would I would argue you're having a stroke right now. I would argue you're having a stroke right now. Good one. New Spider-Man's real good. Sundering may come out. I was actually thinking Sundering is great here because it can kill their lands, and they as a blue-red deck they might not have ways to deal with it. So. I actually disagreed with you completely. We could actually just board into a more aggressive deck. Take out Sundering and Belschnickel and just put in like Ismara, Selfless Spirit, Blade Splicer, History of Benaya. That might actually be hard to deal with for them. Let's see if this is any good. Interesting. It's a bold strategy, Cotton. I 
Actually, it's not very aggressive, though. That's the problem. I don't actually like it. It's more aggressive if we draw the, like, one drop, two drop. Which we don't have very many of. History Benaya might actually still be good, though. All right, well, we'll see what happens. Yikes. But you kept it. I mean, it's another two-lane hand. Like, we've just drawn two-lane hands all all day. So. Conceal a courtyard off the top is good, right? Ready? Necromancy. Okay, well, again, we have a situation where we'll just have to discard a card because we don't get a third land, and then we'll just... Uh... I long for the day Jason Bateman graces the soundboard. You mean the one I literally just played? <laughs> yep, here we go. All right. Having a good time. Do, 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 do. I think it's actually just better than casting pack rat. This is where they go untap to see Rex arc your land. Oh my god. Thank you. Sure. Xanatos, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. Absolutely incredible. We had a fun time. I had a miserable time. Take six, go to three, and this is where they rift bolt our face. <laughs> wow. My problem is that it's not even a drafting issue. That's not even an issue of like you drafted a bad deck. That's an issue of not drawing a land in... Guess I can never tell. This is a, just a button that doesn't work. Game and chat log. Yep, cool. So, I would say, I don't know, six turns. They Turn two, turn three, turn four, turn five. Like, just miss three or four land drops. So. Yeah, makes sense. I'll keep it. Another two land hand. Sure, what the hell. Let's just see what, what, what happens. What could possibly go wrong? Let's, let's try to keep our spirits up. Oh, Jesus. Man, those bring so much joy to the cube. I'm so glad they're in here. They're really fun and interactive cards. Daisy. You.
Do we get to... Do we really get to reanimate their Sundering Titan? I guess we do. Don't play lane. Oh, wait, that doesn't matter. Yeah, we killed their planes, their swamp, and their island. We don't actually lose any lands. Do it, boy. Well, I want to be able to, I want to attack first, and, because if they tap out to kill this or something, then we can oh, also sure. see if they have a better target. I do get super quiet when things are bad because I'm just like I don't have any words. Like it's just like it's just like muted frustration. Also we can hit a counter spell if they have that, like a mana leak. Grave dead, good lord. Yeah, this results, I'm pretty sure this game's over. This is hilarious if you just entombed your Sundering Titan and then gave it to <laughs> <laughs> Oh man! I'll kill your planes, uh, your island, and your swamp. Oh my god! That's amazing, dude. What even just happened right there? He needs some milk. What does that mean? I have no idea what that means. <laughs> what does that even mean? I think our deck is fine like this. I don't really feel like we need anything. Maybe a Forsake. Actually, Forsake's probably pretty good. I think it's too late. I think they immediately sideboard. For that burn? Do you put milk on burns? Okay, well, this hand is hot trash again. Actually worse. You know what? Sure. Maybe they'll just give us the same thing they did last game. Oh, crying out loud. How is this? God. Yep. Just put a massacre, put a, put something good in the graveyard is really what I'm getting at here. <sighs> the old mold of five, followed by a pack rat. Really? You're not going to make a third pack rat. All right. I guess that's surprising to me. I mean, it would be at 12. And then you'd actually be attacking for 12. We'd be dead here if you actually pack ratted correctly. That's fascinating to me. All right. Well, I appreciate the extra turn. <laughs> Doesn't, wouldn't do it in any situation. Yep. Fun interactive game of magic. All right, well, now we're bringing in Subtle. Probably take out Mask Worm. All right, let's play first. We have two reanimation spells and a Pack Rat. I'm okay with this hand. They Pack Ratted us, so now we Pack Rat them. Like you do. Well, we tried to the first game, and then they force-spiked it, so I assume they're just going to do that again. Yeah, probably. Cool. Sorry, I, I just, Sorry, I, I just think I'm too stupid to understand this. not real to make another rat 
Yeah, I'll just take two. This also makes our necromancy or anime dead significantly better. Why don't I have a way to discard that? Oh, it's in my graveyard. Come on, Aleshnor in one time. Island. <laughs> Not the same. No, it's close. Real close. It's real close. We missed the land drop again. I guess we have a good block here. For now. Next turn we don't. True. True. Wow. Yep, that is fine. A lot of cards I'd rather be drawing lands instead, but... You have two cards in hand. Let's hope you just drew one fatty. Oh, fantastic. I'm pretty sure we just want to necromancy this guy. Because next turn, if we hit a land... Well, it doesn't matter if we hit a land next turn, but it does get us into a position of... Yeah, Elspeth, or Elshorn out, it seems like we probably can't lose. Agreed. Plus, we're putting uh, putting a lot of pressure on their, on their hand with Hypnotic Spectre, so... Mm -hmm. Yeah, that seems fine. If you want Island Buried Alive, that is totally fine. They probably don't think we have the... Sure. I Buried. <laughs> what up, Doomsday? Alright, so no longer have Buried Alive. That's cool. Now you just make a rat, you bury it alive, animate dead, sure. Yep, that's a good one. <laughs> that doesn't actually do it because it's indestructible. All right, well. So they literally had to they had to draw animate dead off those two cards. That's that's pretty cool. I definitely don't think now Provolone doesn't finish my top three. I think it would probably Swiss would be my third. I think those are all very well rounded cheeses. Oh, Christ, this is just ridiculous. Um. Ew. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, man. Nope, you're going face to get rid of that last card. You're going at Jace. And you're going at Jace. And we're going to take a big, fat, disgusting hit off of Nulamog, which is really obnoxious. Yes, do that. Please double block. Please. No? Single block, sure. This is just their graveyard, right? Yeah. Thank God. Island, sure. So three, four, five, six. So we're basically dead. We just can't beat an Ulamog. We have one. We have one card that we can draw. We get one draw step. Unless we can somehow stop him from attacking again, but I don't foresee that happening. So 
So 9, 10, 11? Sure. Oh my god, that's so close, dude. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Actually, this is lethal, isn't it? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. This is exact seas. Oh wow. Oh my goodness gracious. Got there. Woo! We're back in the game, boys. Well, the game's over. <laughs> well, I mean we're back in the We're back in that game free momentarily. Roll, free roll, you know. Woo! Oh my god, those matches were something else, man. At least the two one I will accept gladly. Thank you so much for watching, really appreciate it. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Uh, check me out on Twitch and Patreon Both links are in the description below And uh, you can help support me there If you enjoy the content or if you want to see more Let me know and I'll see you guys next time Thanks so much for watching, really appreciate it